healthcare experience hours are required for U of T. Um, what are examples of healthcare experience hours? And do they consider some types of hours more competitive than others? So I got my hours as a medical assistant, um, working as a family practice office. It was also a partial walk-in. I know a lot of students in our, not a lot, but a few other students yeah. in our program also got them that way. I think it's a really great position if you're someone who doesn't have a previous um, certification, like, like MC got previous certification to do something a bit more specialized. So if you don't, I think medical assistant is a great option. I also got exposed to a lot of different, um, I got exposed to primary medicine, but I got exposed to special because I was um, coordinating referrals. And so I learned quite a bit of just about how the medical system works, which I think is really important when you're going through an accelerated program, if you've never been introduced to the medical system. In Canada, I would suggest doing something where you get exposed to that. Mind you, you can do something that's a little bit more indirect, such as clinical research, uh, and you may still be interacting with patients as well. So there's a very wide spectrum, but I think MC touched on this before, that direct patient interaction is I think uh, key, like that's gold if you can get it, but sometimes it's not always possible. So um, whatever you have to get is great. And if you're ever confused, I've had a lot of students message me, does this count? Does this count? Message the admissions committee. They're super great at responding really quick and they'll give you um, information regarding that. And then you won't have to worry or, or do it and then find out it doesn't count. So you can always, always contact them. Kind of what you're saying, like about the indirect patient care. Like I know sometimes people message me and they're like, oh, I got like a volunteer position doing this. Do you think that's enough for me to get in? And like, I always say like, it's again, it's not one element in your application. Like, yes, maybe a direct position will have more value per se, but at the same time, what else can you offer? And like, if you, if you did other things in your life, like do talk about that because again, that will raise you up and separate you from everyone else. So it's not only about the job that you hold or volunteer position that you have.